Did you hear go live? Hit go live. I did. Oh, it's live. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time and we show you junk that we've thrifted, that we're gonna make over. We give you tips and tricks on how to make money thrifting and flipping. We also hopefully help with home decor. If you wanna shop along, you can go to jamierayvintage.com, click Saturday thrift haul, everything is listed. And if you guys are on Facebook, if you guys can hit that share button, right, like right now, It'd be super duper helpful. Right now. Unless you don't like us, and that's okay if you don't want to let your friends know. I think they left without you. You took too long. Are you serious right now? I was getting my dusty clothes off. We're live on YouTube. <laughs> so maybe text your sister and Cooper and ask why they left you. Anyways, we're super excited to be here tonight. We are going, let's show those shirts first because I forgot shirts to put first. sizes. But can I, can I show these real quick? Okay. We're going to do those first way? and then we're going to show some shirts that we made for our channel membership video because we're trying some new things in the thrifting world. This is Magnolia um, wreath here. It's going to get more glue. More glue. And I think, I feel like it's heavy on the bottom. I'm going to, I'm going to fluff it up and I'm going to, it's going to get more glue. And it was like a dollar 50. I hope it was a dollar or something. Cause I can't find where the price is. So um, you well, were it's guessing go, it's going to oh, be right here. 1995, 1995 is what we're selling it for, but I'm going to refix it. Cause somebody who made it did not do a perfect job, but I can fix it. I am, I am like a ninja with a glue gun. Hey Brie. All right. We have this fun wreath. This is not priced yet. We don't know if we're keeping it or not. So, so we just, we're going to show you randomly, maybe for some ideas. This is felt I that's just like, been cut out and made into flowers. I feel like you're down on a Christmas morning because you don't know what I'm doing with any of this stuff. You've never seen it before. Me? Yeah. Because you were sick. I was sick. Jamie went thrifting without me this week and here we are. So I'm, I'm feeling actually, much, much better. I now, actually though. bought that with a plan. I'm going to remove all of the felt flowers and use them on some decor really cool. separately. I don't think it's bad on here. I just feel like it would need a lot more. It was a dollar fifty, I think. Yes. For all those felt flowers, if you've ever made felt flowers, they take forever. So I'm going to take them off, and then I'm going to use the wreath form. Can you show them that one? I haven't listed this yet because I don't know what it's going to turn out like. But I'm going to take this other item that I bought that's on this weird swaggy thing. I'm going to take all the floral off of this, I think and it's I'm going to make to hang a like wreath. that. So I'm going to make a springtime wreath because I don't love the witch's broomstick situation happening there. <laughs> so next week, if they both turn out successful, I'll show you and we'll get them listed. I sometimes will say what I'm going to do and then sell it beforehand, but I'm not 100% what it's going to look like. So I'm going to do we'll it first. Wait, and we'll we'll wait it. on that one. All right. This I'm going to show so that I can get it out of my way. And then these two things, and then we'll show you the cool shirts. Channel members, you already know what they look like. Um, cause we did those live for you in the channel or anybody that's video. been on the website. That's true. All right. So this <laughs> is a uh, fruit saver and this is a great little, uh, steamer system. It's a steamer, steam canner. And, and it's got like elevations here so that when you're on the, on the dial, when you're, when you get to your green zone for your elevation, you're ready to go start your timer, but it has whole been system used, but is it's here. In good condition. It comes complete with one pinto bean. No, those are that's dog food. Oh. That's a little bit of kibble. Oh, anyways, we're gonna get rid of the kibble. We'll put that but in the these sink. steamers sell from anywhere from fifty to seventy plus dollars, depending on where you buy them at. I looked it up on Amazon, Cabela's. They're great for turning fruit or jam, and we're selling it for twenty. Uh, twenty eight ninety five. Twenty eight ninety five, and I paid four dollars for it. If it doesn't sell, I won't like by next spring. It'll probably get used. <laughs> I'll just use it because I we love home canning, and I don't have a steamer. But I saw if somebody wanted one, I could pass it along because I do have a big water bather and I have a pressure canner, so I don't need a steamer. But anyways, there you go. All, All right. right, let's show the shirts. Time. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna show you far away. And then I'll bring them up close so you can see the design's good. We made these with stencils, bleach, and a little bit of paint, DIY paint. And then... Uh, we heat set them and we wash them. So this one's pretty busy floral. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I'll bring it up close. But there's a heart stencil here. And then it says, I love you on the back. So this one is a large, but the brand is Abercrombie. And I don't know if I said that right. And Fitch. So I'd say that's probably closer to a medium because they're like a teenage type shop. So their larges aren't big. Then we bleached the ends of the sleeves and the bottom. So Caitlin, if you are adding any of these sizes for me, would you put large on this one, but fits like a medium? Let me show you that I love you. 
Well, look how cute that is. We just used our I love you stencil. And then this one, I we did it anyway because it had a pocket, but that is uh, that's a heart there on the pocket, but it's a pretty busy design. So it's so cute and soft. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. And if you did want it to like, let's say it was a little tight, you could just leave it unbuttoned and wear a shirt underneath it. Or oh, yeah, just leave that. it unbuttoned. I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm not your boss. Maybe wearing a shirt underneath. <laughs> well, I mentioned that first. Oh. All right. Model the shirt, Zeb. Cooper says. This, Cooper, aren't you Cooper, driving? Isn't it like, these are. I you don't can know. model this one. This one's a large. It's not going to fit yeah, on me. Yeah, this one. You no, know, this is so true the to size. the heart showed up a little better on this one, even though it's still. Ooh, Deb bought the pink flannel one. It's so. This cute, one Deb. here that I'm holding. It's a large twelve fourteen. So this one, the the stencil went it it like the the bleach went crazy on this one. And so we stenciled over it. Now it's got like this really fun halo effect on the stencil design. Now, when you use paint to stencil on fabric, I like to just use DIY paint. Make sure your um, fabric is clean without, um, what's that? What do they put in it when you get it from the store? Uh, I don't know. It's not starch. Sizing. Um, and don't put fabric softener in it before you stencil. It just that, I mean, it's not like if you do it, it'll be ruined, but it's better if you do it that way. And then you stencil it, you let it sit 24 hours, you heat set it, then you wait a week and you can wash it. They will fade over time. Now, these, like, right, now I need you to try that one on. That's a 3X. This one? These shirts are all thrifted. Really, so really well. how much did you spend on all these so shirts? So the flannels and like this 3X um, shirt were $5 and then the rest were $2, except for I think this 2X was also $5. I can't remember. And then everything else was two bucks. It's going to be like a little cap sleeve on me. So this one is a 3X, and we just did a little design on the back. But um, the Saratoga Deseret Industries had a lot of really great plus-size clothes. So now when I have more time, I'm going to go through and see what I can find. So this one has oh, a little button weird. on the, here, the on and you can side. fold them up if you want to show <laughs> your biceps. Oh, yes. Flex for them. Oh. Come on. You're, you, I can't. Why? Because you're holding onto my arm. Well, I'm buttoning <laughs> this up. There you go. You want to see my hairy arm? My, <laughs> look at that farmer tan. <laughs> Check that, that out. Flex. And then the hair on it, like all the way up. Okay, there you go. It's not, not the flex is not that impressive. I've never had like Popeye muscles. I got long, stringy muscles. So that's three X. Okay. Um, Caitlin, this is the two X. This one here, though. Let me let me show you the back. The back is good. <laughs> Can you see the back? Yeah, you look like you should have some like Wranglers and yes. some boots. Where's my motorcycle? And a cowboy right hat. I need a motorcycle. Cut <laughs> these sleeves uh, off. Get me a. You don't even have to cut them off. You just roll them up because they have these buttons. Get, get me a hog. Get you a hog. Oh, you mean like a motorcycle? Yeah. Uh, I was like, Cooper has some hogs. No, no. There you go. All right. Anyway, so oh, next shirt is just far. this cute. This one was two dollars, and these range anywhere from like I think. Kaylin, what are they? Nineteen ninety-five to. Oh, let's see. Have you been eating your spinach, Zeb? <laughs> no, I don't eat a lot of spinach. Okay, nineteen ninety-five to twenty-eight ninety-five is what these range, and we're probably gonna start doing more upcycled clothes because I thought it'd be fun. Anyway, so there, here's this one is two X, and then I this one that says I love you. This is a Madewell shirt, size small, and it's like see how we kind of tie dyed it with bleach. Then it says, I love you on the back. This one just got stenciled. It did not get bleached at all. that one's not for sale. This one's not for sale. That's for my display. But people love maybe this Maybe after design. the season. I'll bring it close so you yeah, can see it Yeah, maybe we'll sell it after Valentine's Day. But... So with two stencils, actually the words are part of a stencil pack. So you'll get a lot more than that. <laughs> so I might do more of these. I'm going to look and see what shirts I can find. And this one's going on my mannequin. And we're going to do like a big poofy tool skirt. I have a whole Valentine's display. While we're showing Valentine's, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm finished, finally finished my Valentine's from Waste Not Wednesday. Eliza tied the velvet ribbon on there for me. And I added some clutter. There's a lot of uh, girly things and I, happening in here. <laughs> I painted the inside. So these are going to go on my Valentine's display too. Look how cute they turned out. It actually took me like all day to finish them because I was like, oh, I need to touch up this. Oh, I need to touch up that. And then I wound up using 
copper patina and I put the glitter over it. And then you know what I set the glitter with? Hairspray. I did two coats of hairspray on this and that glitter is like, feel that. That was Eliza's tip and yeah. trick actually. It's how they set their glitter for cheer. It was like, that is Because otherwise it's going to get all over everybody when they're so doing their So if you ever stunts. buy glitter home decor and it's getting everywhere, just set it with hairspray. All right, I'm going to show some home decor now. Are you going to are... leave that shirt on for the duration? Oh, I forgot. I, I, I got it on now. <laughs> this Sally, was a dollar. Sally gave us a super chat and says those shirts are adorable. Adorable. It's cold in Phoenix. You asked about glitter, and Leslie said no. I didn't listen, Leslie. <laughs> Shocker, Leslie. We know. Jamie not listening. Um, um Caitlin, can you draw? Oh, thank you. She dropped the link to those tins. So those tins are sold individually. They're $16.95 each. They'd be perfect to give us a Valentine with candy um inside. Thank you, Sally. I appreciate that super chat. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I was lived in Mesa. And I came outside, it was probably like right around Christmas time, maybe right after Christmas break. And there was like frost on everything in Mesa, which if you don't know the area, Mesa's right next to Phoenix. Um, anyway, there was like frost on all the windshields. Everything was frosted. The grass had frost in it. And I was like, it snowed, but it was just frost. Uh, but it was, uh, it was a rare occurrence. So hopefully you're not that chilly right now down in Phoenix because you should be golfing, I think. All right. You should be golfing. We've got this bunny. It was a dollar. It's going to be $22.95. Just a big old bunny cake. Cute vintage form, design. 1989 but... Wilton from Korea. Uh, 1989 is vintage. My sister was born in 18, 1989. This is, we're going to call this the Barbara bunny because that's the year Barbara's born. Yeah. Don't tell Barbara that she's vintage now. Over 20 years. Christmas is isn't even here on Talk About Valentine's Day. Like nobody's selling Christmas nine That's days before thing. valentine's day or how many days do we have we got we got eight, eight days. days to christmas yeah um, i think a few people might come in shop but i'm like not adding anything new anymore like we have to because christmas, christmas stuff is, is gone, gone we gotta get ready for the most part i mean there's a few odds and ends here and there but the bulk of the christmas stuff is sold and jamie's already transitioning to spring like she's talking about it the day after christmas is a monday so we're probably getting in the shop we're closed mondays and we're gonna spring that whole place up well i'll probably take some of the christmas i want to mark down and like move it where i move the fall to after halloween and i'll leave that out and then the rest of the shop is going to get valentine's and spring i'll probably only do like one valentine's display and then everything else will be spring put a bird on it put a bird on it We've got this wonderful tray. I actually think it's pretty good as is. Are we painting it? Yeah, or? I want to paint it and either stencil or do a transfer just because okay. the turquoise is okay. It's just kind of like it was popular about seven, eight years ago. Well, and they've got this like big, like they hit it with something, chips in the paint. I think it would be better painted in my opinion. But if somebody wanted to buy it and they didn't want us to paint it, they could just email us. But I was planning on painting it and putting like a transfer on it. It was $2. After we paint it and put a transfer on it, it'll be $28.95. We'll probably put something cute. of the spring variety on this too. We've been getting a ton of new people following us and they always want to know, why do you charge so much for stuff? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you right now. We looked at the thrift store like craft supplies, like the shirt Zeb's wearing. I bought that to craft in it. I could go to the craft store and spend way more money and then just buy new stuff. But instead I go to the thrift store and I get unique items and we upcycle them, craft with them, make them cooler. Like this, this for I example, this vase, I don't even have to put any IOD molds on this. It's already done, but I am going to give it a brand new paint job and we might even get so to that's this not one. Being painted. What is it valuable that way? So it's, um, oh. it's, a uh, special Holland mold. I actually yes. forgot to put that in the list. Okay, so this isn't getting painted. It's vintage. I was ready to paint it though. I was ready. But if guys. somebody doesn't buy it, I will paint it. But I think that somebody might want it as is because it's kind of retro vintage vibes. Anyways, so, I'm sorry, right. to, but we are painting this one. Show them that one. This oh, one, sorry, we paid two dollars and it's sixteen ninety five. This one is not great. No, it's bad. That's like naked people on here, Jamie. Yeah, that's why I'm painting it. So that way it looks like she has a dress. I'm going to censor it for you. There's no nipple. <laughs> what does that even mean? It means it could be flesh colored tank top. Doubtful. You don't know what the artist was thinking. Okay. Well, anyway, no maker's mark, nothing on here. It We're... looks Italian. We're going to paint it. It's a bad paint job anyways. It looks like uh, one of those ceramic. Oh, there is a nipple on it. We're going to paint it. Oh, 
There's also maybe we should put some IOD on it. There's also and some other anatomy boring. on here too. We'll put some IOD on it and then we're gonna paint it. How about that? Okay. We're gonna PG up this situation. Where's the price on it? I didn't see any of that down there. Oh, it was. It'll be twenty four ninety five, and it was. I did write it on there on this little weird oh, it was piece of gum 50. that's on the bottom. It was a dollar fifty. I don't think it's gum, but I put so. the I put my receipt in here. Okay. Moving along. Moving along. I'm doing, doing, a, I'm doing a repair on this. Tell them about that. Okay. All they're gonna stop it. Nobody wants to hear that in their headphones. I'm done. Promise. This was four dollars, and we're gonna paint it all cute and number the drawers. They're wood. They've got like it comes complete with a reindeer, probably used to be an earring, but the back's missing. Um, and it's going to be twenty. $8.95. Oh. That was Pyrex. You should probably check. <laughs> that, that was Pyrex. If that that that's $1 why we have rolling wood, pin. That's why we have wood floors and not tile. Did it break it? No, we're good. Those are worth a lot of money. They're good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have some really good Pyrex listed today, part of the drop off from like two weeks ago. And those are little fridges, and one of them sells for like 30 bucks. I'm selling two for 30 bucks, but I found them for 30 bucks each. Phew. All right. Moving along. Well, Show them that I was rolling gonna, pin. This rolling pin, you can, well, it's older. It does have some plastic inserts in here, but I would guess it's from as far back as the 60s. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Um, because this, all, all your new rolling pins, most of them aren't being made here in the U.S. They're using like a acacia wood or whatever from is that maple from Asia, um, and this is maple. This yeah. is a maple rolling pin, and then it's got. I would I would wager that the handles are maple too, and then they're painted red, and it's it's great. It was a dollar. We're selling it for eighteen ninety five. It's a good rolling pin. Zeb, run around the house for a while, but outside. I don't know why. <laughs> why am I too excited right now? Apparently. I'm apparently. too pumped up for this thrift haul. I actually was so tired. I went and laid down after I priced this thrift haul. I was like out here with minutes. the kids hanging out, talking. I'm not even going to repeat the conversation going on here. I told you. Cooper I was came over go and I was it. just like, Cooper, why is our conversation always turned to potty talk? Anyways. Was he talking about farm stuff again? No, he's talking about sugar-free gummy bears. Well, that's okay. If you eat too many. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so I don't know how much these were. Set of three, silver colored, distressed. Um, they were, so they were each priced for $2, but it said $2 for the set. Oh. And, or $2 for the pair. And I said, well, there's three. So is it $2 for two and $2? And they gave me all three for $2. What? I know. I was like. Yeah. Are we, these We're are not pretty good them. as is. Yeah. I, I like the way say. that we are going to take the heat gun and get like the wax that's on here off. Um, Did you look up this Rubel brand? Um, no. We've had these before in different various sheens and patinas. It's probably worth $3 million, but we're selling for $29.95 for the set of two or of three. I don't think And they were $2. It's not worth a million dollars. They're cast. It's. It's because I wanted you to flex and you got all pumped up like that testosterone was rolling in your pink t-shirt. I don't really think I felt that. With the flowers I'm the just back. I just had a little nap beforehand and I'm actually feeling okay, I'm not sick. All right, show them. Marsha, show we know that. That's why we don't eat artificial sugars, which is kind so, of what we're talking about. So ball A and ball B. They're not. This is the sticks and that's the green leaves. That's what I named them. Okay. They were 75 cents each that's like at a thrift store. That's like a stick. These are sticks. Okay. And I'm, we're selling for six ninety five each. And I don't like the little weird ball things, but the big ones like this that look like orbs, they look really great like sitting on something like this or sitting in the top of an urn or whatever or a pitcher. So I always pick them up this time of year because they look really good around the shop. I mean, that's pretty good right there. Look at that. Both of these candlesticks. Hey, men's on here. He said go tie-dye. Um, it feels a little tie-dye, huh? Uh, Ampers and Unique Gifts said that she sold a set of those candlesticks in her booth a few months ago. Yeah, they're really good. I like that style. This is actually a style I've seen you paint so many times. And I bought them because I thought maybe you could do one more drippy blended Zeb paint finish on them. Maybe tonight. 
Maybe, Maybe tonight. I will. You're Maybe all going to have to use a heat gun because there's some glue there. Well, it had a metal thing on the top. Oh, and I don't like the metal, metal things disc on top. Is missing. Um, I feel like... I don't know if you guys saw, and maybe it's too early to show you, but I feel, I feel like I want to bring you in on the conversation because nothing's set in stone. We don't even know what's going to get approved, but we gave our color ideas for the next run of Cottage Colors, and I was playing with color, and I had quite a bit of fun. Let me show you. Are going to show them the colors? Yes. This but, is just... Wait. This is just me. This is just concept. These are not the final colors. I feel like I have to say that. This is concept colors. Um, they may not be able to go this dark or may not get all of these colors. And when they may not they say, may not they may say these many. all suck and we have to come up with new colors. All right. So we wanted like a dark grayish brown. So there's that. That might be too dark. We tried to go not darker than gray skies because the base that they have, they can do gray skies and lighter. Um, and then we had this one here. This one also might be too dark. Um, we wanted to go with a fun purple. Um, but all of these colors kind of really just go together. And then this is this is like a crockery color. Yeah, Matt, we matched my crop. And this is apothecary, but a little more blue. And then we wanted a good, a good like, um, not m quite mustard, but not like sunshine like yellow. Like a French yellow. Yeah. And then this is kind of like a burnt rusty orange. A dewberry red. And then this is like a smoky blue gray. So it, we're, we're hoping we can get at least five of these colors yeah. approved we'll see. and put through. And we might have to amend them a little bit to make them a little lighter for them. But that's, that's what's hopefully coming in the next Cottage Colors, which is the all-in-one paint. All right. You can so show them more So speaking of candlesticks, I've just leaked the new colors that we haven't even sent in for approval. We're sending. I didn't leak them. These were $1.50 each, and Zeb's going to give them a custom paint job, and they'll be $24.95 for the set. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Um, she says, looking for the new colors. Thanks, Leslie. Your mother wants to know what you're wearing. My mom, mom? you should know by now that Zeb likes to model the things that we have for sale. Mom, do you remember when I wore your African silk nightgown to pajama day? Zeb DIY the show or the back? Oh yeah, the back is the part, good part. It's a 3X. It's a JRV stencil. We're getting ready for Valentine's Day, clearly. And I rolled it up so he could show off his muscles and his farmer tan. <laughs> the farmer tan is really the special part. Um, Caitlin also would like everybody to know that we are running a gift card special right now. So if you spend, I can't remember what it is, but if you spend so much money, you get a code um, for a certain amount of money that will be emailed to you. So look at Caitlin's link or hop over to the website to see what we got going on. We've got All some right. of these lovely suggestions. We had three of these books last week. This one was the odd man out, so we thought we'd just sell it separately. And we're painting it. Yeah, this one here is getting painted. It was $20 originally. I think we paid $2, Two. for it at the thrift store, and we're selling it for $12.95 painted. So these books are fun. They're like uh, Christmassy style books. Okay, so this was a dollar, this little bird cage, and we sold it for $9.95, as is. Is this for paper towels, paper towel holder? Um, yeah, it's a cast iron paper towel holder. Great cast Weapon iron. Weapon grade. I love that it's heavy because then you can, uh, when you go to grab a paper towel, you don't like rip it across the counter. It comes apart, so we'll probably take it apart to ship it to make it a little smaller to fit. It was three dollars, and we still we're selling it for sixteen ninety five. All right, so All this right. this comes out, and this is how your your paper towel goes on there. All right, Caitlin dropped it in the link. If you do a fifty dollar gift card, you get a ten dollar code. A hundred dollar gift card get twenty dollars to spend. A hundred and fifty gets thirty dollars to spend. There are terms that apply because you can use none of it on DIY paint because you're not allowed to have any discounts on that online unless they say so, like we did last week. Oh, also, we have all the paint brushes. If you've been waiting for those, the DIY paintbrush pre order is on the website. All right, commercial over. Back to junk. All right. So, this was three bucks. We're selling it for $16.95. We've got a fun little bird bath here. So, I want to put IOD molds on the bottom because I don't love like just the, the plain oak leaves. leaves. Yeah. The, so, I don't like know maple what. Maple leaves. Maple leaves. Maybe I they're think, oak. I just want to put something. I don't know. Maybe just like a little bird on it. I think it'd be cute. And then we're going to paint it. And it was $3. And I don't know what we're selling it for because Zeb did not put it on there. Originally, it um, was... It's on there. It's right there. Can you read that? Yes, I can. It's 20... Oh, no. <laughs> $26.95. All right. $26.95, but we're going to put a bird on it, and we're going to paint it and make it look all epic. It's a fun little bird bath. It's this, a bird I think, theme. already <laughs> sold. 
Definitely weapon grade. This is a cast iron wreath holder. It's got a little fleur de lis, cool little design. Actually, hearts on the bottom. I like it. And it was two fifty. No, two dollars. And we sold it for seventeen ninety five. All right, moving along. Moving show, along. Show them the lion head. I love a good lion. Is the shirt Deb wearing a peach pink? Um, yeah, I would I say was, it's rosy though. Yeah, it's a little more rosy than peachy. It's more rosy than peachy. The bottom is peachy down here. Yeah, because we did the bleach detail on the bottom, but this is definitely a rose pink, and this is peachy. You can't even see that we worked on the uh, the sleeves because you rolled them up. Well, I mean, but I wanted to show your your layered outfit. Okay. All right, okay. you didn't show the lion head. Yes. So when I bought that, I definitely thought of Way. She loves lions. Do you sometimes like? have customers you know what they like and when you're out shopping you're like oh i think they would like this i'm not saying she's gonna buy it i'm just saying it's really cute it's got a brassy gold paint job i imagine that we're gonna do something a little bit different this is actually 3d printed that's, um yeah we're gonna paint it that's crazy and it's got like the holding hardware on the back it was three dollars and we're selling it for 26.95 once we give it a jrb up cycle that's a very good 3d print someone did a lot of sanding on this what paint do we use on the t-shirts Weathered wood. Weathered wood in DIY paint. I love weathered wood when I'm doing stenciling on um, towels, which I was going to show you Jack's towel that he made in his class because we did um, it. I can't. We used it to strain the milk. <laughs> it's dirty, so we can't show you. But um, weathered wood is nice because I feel like black is too contrasty, whereas weathered wood is dark, but just a little bit more subdued. So what are we going to do to this? To like, Are we painting this full on or leaving it the, We're painting the it. brassy gold? So we did not do these shirts for Waste Not Wednesday. We did them for the channel member live that was last Tuesday. So if you're a YouTube channel member, a Facebook subscribe, paid subscriber or an Instagram subscriber. We shared out that link. Um, so definitely check where you check for links for videos, whether it's in um, community on YouTube or in the JRV subscriber book or in Instagram. I have a chat and you can watch us make these shirts. We do two extra lives every month for channel members. Look at All right, I feel this like I'm actually not selling these. I just bought these for like $1.50 because I'm going to spring floral the crap out of the shop. So I need lots. I have a bunch in the garage too. Now this thrift file is going quick. I'm going to be to painting really soon. All right, um, this is Marshall this could almost be like lion. a wall pocket. Um, Caitlin, oh, it's already sold. Shoot. All right, the Sorry lion is yeah. sold. The lion's already sold. Okay, yeah, this is actually a really nice wall bucket. I'm going to paint it and then I'll put IOD transfer on the front of it. I'm picking up a ton of these because once spring hits like these, I, can, I can't I can even keep them in stock. They sell so fast once they're painted. And I love to use cottage color on them like in the pastels. Either gray is really cute with a transfer or the pink or the hate blue. It, really any of them just look so cute on these. So the way that our uh, ours, our uh, thrift hauls work, was it Marsha? Yeah, she asked if she got the lion. You have to buy it on the website. Yeah. So it already sold. So the way that it works on that is we at 8.30, the thrift hall goes live on our website every Saturday night. And we send out a text about that. And then if you have the app, you get a push notification if you have that selected on the app that you want to get the We just make it all go live at once so that way it's as fair as possible and we're, we don't accidentally miss a comment because we so, go live on multiple So platforms. we're showing you these things, but a lot of them after like 8.35 are sold. Not that many. But I would say a bunch. I would say 25 to 50% sell pretty quickly after the that. The cool stuff, I'll we'll say that. The really know, sometimes I'm always surprised at what doesn't sell. Yeah, that's true. You just never know. It just depends on who's watching and what they like. So but... this little top piece here is cast iron. Were you gonna go more? No, I was just gonna say next week we're gonna do our thrift haul on Thursday. Oh, yeah. So and make the week sure after you mark your too, calendar Thursday. 8:30 mountain time because of the holidays for the next two weeks, instead of a Saturday thrift haul, it's gonna be a Thursday thrift hall. Yep. And we're not going to do the tour in the shop. The, sh we... the shop will be Tuesday. Shop will be on Tuesday. So there you go. Okay. So this was $4. This is like a wrought iron. And then it's got um, this cast iron piece on the top. It's a Christmas tree. Um, it's for hanging ornaments. We're going to sell it for $26.95. Yeah. It's super cute. And it was how much? Four. Four dollars. Four dollars. Marsha, if you just go to the app store on Google, uh, Androids, Androids Android. or Apple, whatever it's called, the app store that you have, just search Jamie Ray Vintage. The app comes up. You can download it on your phone oh. and then you'll get notifications anytime something new is on there. Every Saturday night, if we're running a sale, 
we use our app to help notify people. Yes, we will show the lion's head after it's painted. I don't know if we'll get started tonight. Oh, we're going to have time. We're almost done showing this. I mean, we do have a ton of Pyrex. It's listed we're in gonna the Pyrex. Pan, we're going to pan the Pyrex? Yeah, we, okay. we've got so much, and it's all variously priced, but depending on the condition, it's all actually in really good I condition. I try to market about half of what the average Etsy eBay price is. I do my best because I don't have to pay um, fees for it, and all of this was actually given to us by a customer, and we gave them a discount in the shop. So... Um, like things, if I saw, oh, it's selling for 50 or 60 bucks, then I'm going to sell it for 30. That's where I marked all my Pyrex. But oh, I already showed that. We already showed that. We've got a W. M. Rogers and Sons gold electroplated spoon. I did show on the back that there is some wear on the back, but a really nice heavy gauge serving spoon. It was $2, and we're selling it for W. We need to get you a black marker. I this have a black marker, but the tip is all mashed in. For this really great serving spoon. All right, so show them what's next. All right, so we have this pot. It's a uh, enamel. It's like a navy blue. It looks black on camera. I'm gonna see if I can bring the. Yeah, I love speckled. It's usually brighter, but this is a navy blue speckled stock pot. Perfect for making mozzarella cheese, right, Seb? Oh, it's perfect. You could do two. Uh, it looks like it's a two gallon pot. Yeah. Um, it was three dollars, and we're selling for twenty two ninety five. So I've been making about every Saturday or Sunday. I make. I we 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 have the stuff to make the cheddar, but that's like a two to three month process, and the actual making of the cheddar takes like six or seven hours of babysitting it and like keeping the temperature where it needs to be and putting ingredients in at certain times. And I'm like, you know what? This mozzarella takes me half an hour to make. I love it. And I've got the process down pretty well. And it's like super gooey and melty, almost like a Oaxacan cheese. It's so and good. And it's really good. I'm like, we don't need to buy cheese. Since my mom's been gone, we have bought no cheese and no bread because my mom likes special bread and special cheeses. And I'm not that picky, so I've just been making all of our bread, and Zeb's been making all of our cheese, so it's been good. Yep. And our chickens, and butter. our chickens are laying eggs because our new babies from the summer are are laying eggs now. We're so getting, we get eight to eleven eggs a day, so which we is have, awesome. I would say that we have probably twenty to twenty five good layers right now. They're not all so quite. So in the winter, they don't lay every day. But we're, I mean, once we start, I don't think we can handle like. We'll probably get like 15 to 20 eggs a day in the, in the summer once it warms up. I'm like, we I don't could, know what we're going to do with that. I think we could look into cottage laws and we could sell them in the shop. Okay. And have like a dozen or two dozen available a day. And then if people want them, they can come get them. And then if we ever get too many, we always just freeze dry them. All right. So. This is your chance to weigh in. I don't know that I'll actually do that depending on what's available. But we're going to do uh, AI. If you know what that is, you're a good farm person. Um, we're not getting, we'll just say we're not getting a bull for uh buttercup because she needs to have a calf soon. She's starting to dry up on us, you know, that or she's not we're making artificially much inseminating our cow. There you go. Because the last time a bull was introduced to her, it didn't work out well. And it's just the, like the safest. Oh, no, that's what the guy told me that we bought her from. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so this is your chance. We want to do a mini Jersey or a mini Highland because we can pick. I think I want to do a mini jersey just because I'd like to ensure like the A2, A2 lineage continues because it's so easy that to digest. That is what's special about Buttercup is her milk. Most jerseys have the A2, A2 And we're going to do a mini casing. because it's going to be easier for her to give birth. So it'll just ensure an easier birth for her. But the Highland is not off the table. The Highlands are so Because they look like fuzzy sheep <laughs> with like camel colored fur. All right. So <laughs> you can let us know which one you think is cuter. All right. All right. Back so to the thrift haul. Back to the matter at hand. I paid um, $1 for this mug, and I cannot read what you wrote on there. This one is, I think, $6.95. Your is upside okay, down. Okay, $6.95. So that one says, hello, lovely. I'm working on a Valentine's display on my French drying rack, so I'm going to, like, hang my... Um, <laughs> All the fun mugs the that we're getting. Valentine's that I made with the tins. And then I'm trying to get mugs that I think would go well together. This one is actually really popular. It's like a Japanese stoneware mug with a strawberry apron. And it's vintage. Yeah, and it was a dollar. And I looked online and they are really popular and sell well online. So I'm selling that one for $12.95. Isn't it cute? <laughs> like I'm like, where's the head? So apparently you drink and you're the head. Oh, you're probably right. I think that that's what that one is. That's it's funny. so cute. I love aprons. 
And then this one just has an R and a gold handle. And I think that one will be good, like even through like spring because of the floral. And this is the best yeah, is Valentine's Day round. mug ever. It has, it's vintage. It has a heart shaped handle. And that one I think was $1.50 and I'm selling it for $10.95. And I did find more of these online and they sold about 12 ish dollars for those. And then I'm buying the all bunny. the bunnies for my bunny display. Some of them have sold, but I'm still picking them up. This one's $1.50 and I'm selling it for $9.95. It's a little pot, so you can put a little succulent or some floral in the back of it. Gold ears. It's a good size, it's a cute little bunny. And Zeb's going to do the, if, pan, if you, the Pyrex pan. If you came for the Pyrex, here comes your pan. Hold on. I'm going to. These are on the website. You can buy them now. Go run quickly. They won't last long. Some of these are pretty we rare. We got some good fridges. The coloring. Like this one is in tremendous shape. Hey, stop moving in around. I'm zooming Sorry. in on it. <laughs> now, some of the lids have small chips in them, which is indicative of the Pyrex These lids, guys but here are really actually the ones that are really expensive for so how big they, they are. they sell for like $30 without the lid. And I'm selling two for $29.95. Then we've got this big, big one here that's the divided tray. This is the Pyrex friendship pattern. The lid is a little bit faded, but it's in really great shape. And look how bright that base is. Like, it is so good. Anyways, these are all, I tried to mark them competitively. So if you want, if you collect Pyrex and you want a good deal, we've got quite a bit on there. All right, now we need to move them all back. I'm going to go get a couple things here. While you're moving them over here and maybe giving them pans, I'm going to go grab think, something. I don't think paint. they need this anymore. And whatever enough. doesn't sell, I'll make a Pyrex collection on the website. And I might do a fun Pyrex display in the shop. Sorry, I'm off camera right yeah, now. That's Zeb's okay. Everybody's back. off camera. I'm going to go get a drop Well, off. I can't move this and stay on camera. Well, you just oh, I need to show them this stuff right here. I forgot to, to list it. this, so pretend you didn't see that. We'll show it next week. All right, this is the cutest thing ever. I picked this up for a dollar. It's a mini fishing creel, and it's $6.95. It's got a leather clasp, a little spot for the fish, and it's got little carved wooden fish on the side. So if you have a fisherman in your life, super adorable. And this is kind of ugly, as is. But painted, this is going to be darling. It's going to get a fun spring two-tone paint job. It was $1.50 and I'm going to sell for $14.95. I think it's got little feet on it. I think these are going to work better and then we don't have to move this all off. We can just scooch it. I just don't want to splatter on any of the Pyrex. So once you get started, I'm going to move that stuff. All right, but it's going to be a sec. Why don't you pick out some colors and surprise me? for those candles. Surprise you? Yeah, do do something we haven't really done. I know that's going to be hard because all those colors in there are colors we Well, I did just get some crinoline. We haven't used it in a while, which is a good creamy color. And Salty Kiss, what can you do Let's with Let's see this? if I can, this is the tricky part. This is uh, backwards. I feel like I'm yeah. left-handed. Take off the merchandise before you start painting. Yeah, I will. All right, I'm going to carefully move all the Pyrex while you see what colors I pick. Oh, you need brushes? Oh, yeah, I'm going to need a couple brushes. Are those my two options? That's what I've got. You want some more? You want no. a blue? No, that's good. You said to surprise you, so. I love crinoline what and can you I do love with these? salty kiss, so. All right. I'm going to move the Pyrex out of the splatter zone. Zeb, you're off camera again. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, right, I'm right here. We're coming back. Okay. Where The question is, where'd you, oh, I need the heat gun so that I can get this glue off of here oh, oh you got me the heat yeah gun? all right and i need to pop the top we thought we were ready i'll just use a kitchen screwdriver perfect okay so salty kiss is a diy paint color it's like a green ocean spray is the idea behind that um, Salty Kiss was made when Debbie and I one day were mixing colors in her yard and Cedros before she even got the new shop that she's now back at Cedros. So happy. And I can't she's remember so happy what colors we mixed to make Salty Kiss, but I was there when it was born. Okay, crinoline and Salty Kiss. Oh, this has been a minute since it's been used. 
<laughs> the lid. It's got what Debbie would crusties. call goodness. Yes, she uses that to build up layers and texture. All right, plug in the heat gun in. I just got to get the glue off the top of this and then we'll start painting. So these are actually wood. Sometimes you get these in their plasticky resin. Love it when I grab them and they're, they're wood. I don't know why that, that makes them better for me. I feel like they're just more durable. Wood stands the test of time pretty well. Okay, that's like a gooey. This kitchen screwdriver is really coming in handy. What am I painting? Um, should I paint the drawers or should I paint? I don't this? know. I brought you. I brought you a piece of cardboard so you can paint whatever you want. Mm, right, I think I got this. that glue up. It's like a mixture between hot glue and. Oh, uh, Ampers and Unique Knife Gifts. A silicone. Bought the lion and she does not want to paint it. So. No painting on that, huh? So if you guys want to see the lion painted, message Ampers. She, she might. Sarah, are you going to paint it yourself? Sarah that'd might be paint, fun. It. She she, might paint it. She's a great painter. She if does you paint really it, Sarah, share it in the group. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take the same two colors and I'm going to lighten Salty Kiss and make a really soft springy green. Okay. All right, I'm almost done. Then we're going to get, we're going to put brush to paint and get going. You guys came to see us do some heat gunning. <laughs> All right. I hope that um, Angie's watching. She always says, you always paint everything the same color and this is not my normal color. <laughs> Angie is our neighbor over at the shop. She lets Buttercup live in her backyard. Yeah, they're great. They gave us popcorn. The kids have been living it up. They were worried I wouldn't be able to eat any, and there's actually a flavor I can have. Oh, really? Yeah, just the regular, oh, look what I did. Look what you did. You can eat the butter. Can I have my mixer back? Oh, you're mixing with a knife? All right. This knife that I paid 25 cents for at... Although, you know, it's funny, the other day I used a back end of a spoon and I got most of it off and then I put it in the dishwasher and Jack was eating his Lucky Charms and he's like, Mom, why is there paint on the back of the spoon? I'm like, don't you worry about it, just eat with the front. Oh, that's kind of annoying, the sound. Oh, you hardly put any green in there. Well, it doesn't take much. All right, so this is crinoline. I'm going to use it as my base. It's like a really soft, uh, yellowy cream color. Not much yellow. Gonna make like a soft spearminty green. Sorry if that scrapey noise is bugging you. So the um, sale for the gift cards ends on Christmas Day at eleven fifty nine. So just so everybody like knows, like midnight Christmas Day. Yes. So if you're if you're sitting there and your twenty year old son shows up for Christmas and didn't bring you anything, just be like. <coughs> JamieRayVintage.com. Now, if you order the gift card on Christmas Day, you're not going to get your code for a few days. It's still the 27th is when how long it'll take to get codes out because Caitlin does like. Well, to I think you Christmas. get your original gift card. You get the code, gift card, you just don't get the code. But then for the, the bonus, the whatever the bonus code. The 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 reason it's cool to buy them right now is because you get extra when you buy. Yeah. We always, I shouldn't say we always, but for years we've been doing this because it's kind of the point where if you buy something, you're not, unless you live in Utah, you're not getting it before Christmas. And even then, I mean, I can't guarantee what the postal service is going to do. So this is just a great way to well, do it. Well, back Plus, east is getting hammered now by storms. We uh, got yeah. like, like my cousin, my, my FedEx source, my cousin that drives for them, um, he gets all the shipments out of Denver and he did not work today even though the weather is great and it was just cold, no storms, uh, because they didn't have enough to bring to him that had made it to Denver from the East Coast. Because he goes from, he, he goes from uh, here in Utah, the guy comes from Denver, meets him in central Utah, and then he goes to Vegas. Can I have a paintbrush? And that's not... Oh, yeah, and the DIY brush, DIY brush pre-orders oh, while supplies last. it like a last. minty soft green. It's like a sagey mint green. It's really pretty. Um, the DIY paintbrush pre-sale, once they sell out, we, it's, there will be a little bit of gap in ordering just cause they're going to have to reorder. 
Yeah. And we're hoping to get them the middle of January, but we're estimating delivery end of January because we like to. I'm hoping you didn't sell under, them all and you saved some for us. They took some out for us. Under okay, promise, good. over deliver. All right. So my color is okay. So I maybe made a color similar to what I always do, but I. Looks it's like not apothecary. My fault. It's you've not. tried. It's, you mixed two colors. It's more green than apothecary. Yeah. Um, it's a really springy green, and I used salty kiss and crinoline. So I didn't get to see the uh, comments. So let us know what you think about those colors we showed earlier. If you're watching the replay or you're just joining us, um, you can you can watch when uh, I showed the colors that we're hopefully going to get produced for the cottage color, which is the built-in sealer line. Zeb, remind me to put new little belts on here. Yeah. 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 DIY paint will have them again after we sell out, but. I'm just saying that once they're gone, once the pre-order is gone. Well, it takes her a minute to yeah. reorder. Like they, they can't just magically manufacture a bunch of brushes once they run out. So it's gonna, once the pre-order is, I mean, she's got her initial investment, right? And then, you and then she's order. gonna have to wait to resupply. So once the pre-order is gone, if you didn't get in on that, you're probably gonna be waiting for a few months. So I'm gonna we get more the underside of this and then once it's dry i'll flip it over and paint the handles this is going to be really cute with like pink and white flowers in it i think i'm only gonna have to do one coat so yeah the e-gift cards like the gift cards pretty much come almost immediately depending on your internet speed server all that kind of stuff it's just the extra um like gift code that you get we do that manually because our website doesn't have a way to send it automatically i mean i'm sure we could program it on the back end Caitlin. but we uh it's easier to just send them thanks sarah sarah from ampers and unique gift says she likes the screen it's pretty screen green yeah it's definitely not the same as apothecary it's a nice minty oh, wintry Winter mints. All right, I'm not going to wash my brush just because I'm going to semi blend here. Um, but going on with the the mint. Caitlin, how long do the bonus gift card codes last? I think it's 12 months, but Caitlin would know. She's the one that sets them up. All right. Just seeing if there's any questions. We're doing good. What's the difference between the new brushes and the other? then they are gorgeous. So they are completely new manufacturer from the old DIY brushes. They are super good quality. They're very soft. And Debbie said that she used them for months and abused them. And I'm going to tell you right now, nobody abuses brushes the way that Debbie abuses brushes. And <laughs> she said they just stayed soft and like lasted a really long time. So that's, I guess, what sets them apart. Plus their price point, they are nice like really good quality, but they're way less expensive than like other high-end brushes. Definitely less expensive than the Klingons that we carry. Um, so. But they look like they're going to be similar quality. Like they're really soft yeah. bristle that washes out easy, holds a lot of paint. And they are gorgeous. And then she, she, Debbie always pays really close attention to like aesthetics. So, you know, she was hands-on with how the handle looks and how it feels when you, you're holding it. And, um, I'm gonna let that dry. Can the ergonomics it? of it, so should be should Thank be pretty you, good. Thank you, Pam. She says she loves our site. Um, let's see, Caitlin, did you put in here how long they were lasting? Um, one year. So you have one year after the code has been sent. It can't be used with any other discount, and it can't be used on any DIY paint products. So DIY paint, cottage color, any of the DIY finishes or the DIY paint brushes, but it's valid on everything else. We have thousands of items on our website. So you definitely be able to find something. Um, Diane says, what are you guys doing tonight? We are, well, we just did our thrift haul and we are painting up some candlesticks and a cute little yeah, thrifted tray. Painting some things that needed a little bit of love. There's, are we you gonna paint that We both use the exact too? same colors, but you can tell when you mix stuff, you can really get a varying range. So we use Salty Kiss and Crinoline and I mixed was mostly crinoline with a little bit of salty kiss and he's layered crinoline and salty I'm gonna kiss. dry these and then I'll come show them close. I'm gonna distress them heavy and see if I can go all the way back to the black and see if we get a little bit of a two-tone too. I did not seal the uh, the original crinoline base so it'll probably more blend than distress through to it, but we'll see what we get. 
but I wanted to dry this first so you can see. It is lighter. I did not wash my brush from using the crinoline to the Salty Kiss, so I got a little bit lighter color than Salty Kiss normally would be. And when you're done with that, can I use the heat gun? Yep. Okay. What time is it? Do I have time to finish this? We'll do oh, it's 921. Okay. Yeah, we got like I'm nine minutes. I'm going to heat gun this, then we're going to show you how to wet distress. I'm going to bring back all that embossed detail. When we're thrifting or yard sailing or wherever it is that we're buying our junk to upcycle and create with, I'm always looking for texture. So one of the things, if you're new here, they probably haven't heard me say before, is when I'm junking, I'm not looking at what color it is. I don't even care. I'm looking at, is it priced right? What shape is it? And what is it made of? Like, can I paint it? Which most everything. I, I haven't paint. found anything we can't paint yet. Well, at least really. we haven't tried to paint. Yeah. And if it has a really great shape and it's going to be relatively easy to paint, I love it. Plus, I love things that are dark. Like this was kind of ugly, like just blah before. But I love a dark to start with because it looks really great when you paint it and distress back to the dark. Now that that's drying, it's kind of, I thought it looked minty. It's kind of more sagey. It's like between a sage green and a mint, like a spearmint. It's really soft, almost like a shamrock, uh, soft shamrock green, maybe. I don't know. I like it. Hey, Carolyn. She just got on here. Caitlin is adding a link to the new things. Also, make sure you guys are checking out often. I am starting to clear out some stuff to make room for new 2023 items. So we have a sale collection on the website that I update every week. And if you save that collection to your browser, you can check back and see what's new. Our next store live will we'll show new products that come in as well as any new displays and sale items will be on Tuesday. I don't know if it's going to be Tuesday morning or Tuesday evening, but we're going to do it on Tuesday. For the next two weeks, it'll be on Tuesday because we're going to be doing our thrift haul on sat instead of Saturday nights because that's a holiday. We're going to do them on Thursday nights the next two weeks. So sometime, probably... We're going to film it Monday, but the landing area up on the top of the stairs, or I don't know, maybe you'd call it a mezzanine. Um, oh, I forgot to show these clothes. Dry. Um, Jimmy, I have no idea until I get started on that bird tray what I'm going to do. I really don't. So maybe wait and see where it, we're headed with it. So you see, oh, I missed some under there. Because so I'm going to paint it and then a, I'll decide what to put on it. See how it's kind of a lighter green than Salty Kiss? Salty Kiss is more of a deep color there you can see what it looks like dry and this uh, kind of took on a blue tone when we put the crinoline underneath it and now says, i'm distressing back to that pam says love your kitchen thank you pam did oh. anybody watch the video we put up friday we just did an edited video one of our first house project videos in forever we finished our kids bathroom update and got that put up we're hopefully if they do well we're going to start every couple of weeks doing a house update video and I'll try to incorporate painting furniture in it so you get the best of both worlds. Well, there might be one Monday. That's what I was talking Monday about and I got distracted what, I showing the paint. Um, we'll film it Monday, but up on the landing, I've had this huge desk, which is great. It's like a drafting desk. They used to teach a drafting class at Lehigh High School and it's super old handmade drafting desk. And I somehow got a hold of that. We got it from Molly. Um, yeah, Molly over, uh, it was her sales counter before when she had the shop when we were um, we with just her over on room. Main Street. But I, I've been using that as my desk and it's too deep. It's about as deep as this island because it's made to like come up and you can put like big, big uh, sheets of paper on it. But we got to figure out something that works better for the kids to do homework and me to edit and store all the things. So we're thinking we're going to put a big dresser in the middle and then two desks off to the side that connect to the, uh, like uh, desktops, I guess you would say that connect to the dresser in the middle and the dresser will be used for like storage and stacking printers. Supplies. Oh, tons. I, I have so many like, small brushes and watercolors and stuff and and markers and pencils and compasses all all the things so i'm doing um just water and a damp towel to pull the paint off Me and too. then i'm going to heat gain i'm going to heat gun it i will eventually paint the inside and the handles um, but because we're live i just wanted to show you where this is headed um, I thought about doing a white dry brush, but I think I'll just clear wax it or use the new Sweet Pickens final finishes um, on this because I'm loving just the simple two-tone. So the, 
Dorothy says she loves my granny sweater face. It's from jamierayvintage.com. <laughs> uh, the tub we actually just sold today, we listed it on the Facebook Marketplace and had a good amount of interest in it. We really could not wait to sell it because we had nowhere to put it. So it was just whoever could come first after we listed on Marketplace. She came today and loved it. We even threw in the shower curtain rods. Oh, did she take that? And the liners because I don't have any need for them. Which is so nice because it's been, we actually moved, what was it, a week and a half ago, two weeks? Yeah. Oh, it's been about two weeks since we pulled the tub out and it's been in our family room. So it's I was glad there, to sell that. Out. And I'm going to take, we sold it for um, $300. And so I'm going to take that money and use that to reinvest in the next project. So like when we do the landing, I'll have $300 to spend on that. And I'm going to try to sell the desk that's in there now. There was a drafting desk. Oh, we're not from, keeping the desk? Yeah, no. What are we going to do with it? I mean, I don't know what I was going to do with it. I just love having it. Well, if you it. want it, we can keep it's it. Because it's, it. it's from Lehigh High School. I was planning on taking and selling it and then using that on the next project. See? It's a domino effect. So my distress was looking a little cheetah-y, meaning like spotty. So I'm just kind of going to close my eyes and do a heavier distress with a wetter towel. If you want it, you can keep it. I'll find something else. I don't really need it that much. I, it's just kind of nostalgic. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's really fun. I mean... We we're really we're really big into Lehigh High School. If you don't know, the tub <laughs> might have weighed like a hundred pounds. It really wasn't that heavy because it's enamel, not cast iron. Which yeah. is one of the reasons I loved it. People are like, why didn't you just get a tub here in the U.S.? Because I found this one that was enamel, and I wound up having a bunch of stuff shipped from my shop. So it really didn't cost extra to ship it because it just came in on the pallet with everything else, and it was only like two hundred dollars. I shouldn't say only, but. For what it is, it for was two hundred dollars, and then we just refinished it. And we had it for two years. With all, you can spend two hundred dollars just getting the claw feet for one of these old tubs if they don't have them. Caitlin like, linked all the cardigans we have in stock. This one is sold out, but we do have quite a few fun, comfy sweaters. I need a dry one. Oh no! This right, is I'm gonna close my eyes again and send it. Yeah, because you. I got spotty. To... Like the first one was all kinds of cheetah, and now it might be distressed too much. So the new tub that went in is uh, the the base is actually not fiberglass. What's the new tub? It's oh, it's it's metal like the yeah, other one. It's a metal, not cast iron, it's but it's cast, sheet metal. Yeah. And then the the surround is fiberglass, but the tub itself is metal. Not super heavy. About as heavy as the enamel tub. So. And it's also enamel. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you it's guys. It's square shaped. Yes, clawfoot tubs go up to twelve hundred dollars. Yes, they do. But like I said, we I wanted to pass on a good deal. It was good for us while we had it, and I needed well, to. Well, and sell we it finished it, but we didn't like completely strip it down. So it had like, you could see where it had chips and chunks before. I'm gonna paint the inside. Look, I couldn't even tell this before. There's like little hearts on it. How cute is that? I didn't even know that when I bought it. So I'll paint the inside, paint the handles, distress them to match. And this is given like a whole new life. I will clear wax it so it's going to get a little bit darker or than it is right now. But I think it turned out pretty cute. We'll clear wax these ones as well when we're clear waxing that. Um, these are pretty much done though. And they will darken up when we wax them some. I'll bring them close so you can see the good distressing. Mama but Bear, um, I can't promise if you order tonight that you'll get it by Christmas because I just don't know with the weather delays, but if there's something that you'd like to try to get by Christmas, email Caitlin. And then when my staff comes in on Monday, we'll make sure it gets shipped out for you. We're pretty caught up on orders actually, because Ivy came in today and got a bunch out. So we can we can get that shipped out for you. When we pretty much do that anytime, like we, our website says it takes up to 10 days, but if somebody needs something in a hurry, if we can ship it faster, like it's in stock, ready to ship, We'll do it. We got enough employees. Zeb and I can go in. Like we make stuff happen. We're still a small business, so we can we can do what we got to do. We have we used to have a bunch of employees, but now we have um, three full time employees. And Ivy's uh, about twenty. How many hours a week does Ivy work? About twenty. 20 uh, this time of year, up to like forty. But <laughs> yeah, sometimes up to forty. But she works usually around twenty five hours. And then Mariah is pretty part-time. She works with our retailers. But most of our employees work between 30 and 40 hours a week. Caitlin, I don't know. She um, Does she ever not work? She, it's, if she's not working, she's thinking about work. 
Sometimes we have to tell her, put your phone up, take a minute. Oh, there's why. a um, winter storm coming to Indiana. But yeah, yeah. Um, let us know and we can, and we can always like, sometimes people want to pay extra to have it expedited, but it is like ridiculously expensive. Like it's not just double, sometimes expedited shipping can cost like four times more, it's crazy. Most of the time when we tell people how much it is, they're like, oh, I'll just take the priority mail. <laughs> Good night, Kai. All right, here, here are the distressed. So I started out with DIY's crinoline, which is like a soft, buttery uh, uh, cream that is on the yellow side. And then they were dark underneath already, already black, kind of a shiny finish on that. Then we went over the top with Salty Kiss, did not wash the brush out, and that's why we got the little bit lighter color on the Salty Kiss here, and then distressed back to the black with just a damp rag before anything really set up. I mean, we did it in real time here on the live video for you. Um, that's so cute. But got they got the good chippy. We're going to clear wax them so that that stays on there real nice, and then they will be ready to go. They'll darken up a little bit with the clear wax. They won't stay that light color there. And I'm just going to clear wax these. I'll wet distress the inside. I, mean, I made a lot of this color. It's a good thing I like it. I'll put it in a canning jar and save it for later. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment or email info at jamierayvintage.com. Make sure not to put an E on the end of Jamie. It's just J-A-M-I-R-A-Y vintage. We're happy to help you out. Um, and if you like this video, please share it out. It helps us a ton. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. We will see you on Tuesday for the shop tour and Thursday for next week's thrift haul. And we'll at least get one edited video out next week. See you later. All right. Catch you guys later. Have a Merry Christmas. All right. Working. Click the right button.